Hello everyone and welcome to episode 59 of the Stout Stitch Crochet Podcast. I cannot believe we are only one away from hitting 60, which seems insane. We are only like five weeks away from my three year anniversary on YouTube. It does not seem real. It doesn't seem like I've been doing this channel for the past three years. I remember being terrified posting my very first video and now I'm posting almost every single week. Um, it has been absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for all of the support that you have given me over the past few years. It truly means the world to me. So thank you so much. If you're not a subscriber, be sure and hit that subscribe button or ring the bell so you get notifications every time I post a video. I try to post every Friday. Um, it has been difficult ever since the holidays, whenever we had Christmas and New Year's two Fridays in a row, and so I wasn't able to. So getting back on that schedule has been difficult because work has been intense, um, to say the least. <laughs> so I'm still posting weekly, but Friday um, has not been working so well for me. Also, I've noticed um, it seems like more of you are able to watch my videos whenever I post on the weekend. I've been posting every Friday for about the past couple of months, and I've noticed that uh, whenever I post on Saturday or Sunday, the views are higher. And so, is there a better day that you guys are able to watch YouTube or you have time to engage uh, in your social media because I want to be sure that I am making accommodations to meet you guys' needs as well. Um, Friday was just kind of like an arbitrary day where I decided I was going to start posting. Um, it was easier for me to do every other Friday uh, for my podcast whenever I was doing free pattern Friday every other Friday. And so I was just saying, okay, I could just do my podcast on the off Fridays where I'm not doing free pattern Friday. But if Friday doesn't work for you, <laughs> um, let me know down in the comments below because I am open to change. So with that being said, I have quite a bit to show you guys today. I'm super excited. Um, I have a couple of finished objects. I have a whip that I'm working on that I just started. Uh, I have some acquisitions and yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. So first, I wanna share my two finished objects. I think I shared one of these. It was almost done on the last podcast, but I'm done with both of them now. And so I've been holding on to them so I could do this podcast. So. <laughs> Uh, I didn't want to give them to my sisters yet until I had a chance to show everyone. But I made two of the perfect pocket shawls. Um, and I am obsessed. This one is in the navy blue. This is done with Lion Brand Hometown. So, I'm probably going to get fuzz all over my shirt. But... <laughs> I had to change the pattern a little bit to accommodate for the yarn size because I think um, the original yarn is a worsted weight, but I used, this is pretty bulky, I think it's a five or a six, and so I changed it up quite a bit, but I'm really pleased with this, with how it turned out. I love that color. They're very warm. <laughs> So, if you're going to make one and you have some bulky laying around, I would do that. I think it's fantastic. I also made one in gold. And like I said, these are for my sisters. I already showed them. They were really excited about it. Um, I, I don't think I said that I was making them for my sisters on my last podcast because I know that they watch sometimes. And so, it was kind of a surprise. Um, I had made one for my mother-in-law in the, uh, what was it? It was kind of like a tweed color. It was like a grayish white. It had those flecks of brown and black in it. Uh, and I decided I was going to make a couple for my sisters just because I had a lot of this yarn and I really enjoyed making it. Um, so those are my two finished objects that I have. I don't have anything else, but 
I am working on a few things. I'm gonna show my main work in progress in this episode. Like you, um, like I've shown in the past, I have lots of whips that I did not finish in 2020. And so I think I've probably got five or six. And I'm trying really hard not to cast on new whips because I want to and I see things every day that I want to make and it's difficult and I'm fighting it because I've got to get some of these things finished. I think I have like three sweaters going right now. It's gonna take forever. <laughs> um, but let's talk about acquisitions a little bit. So in conjunction with my work in progress, I had to buy some new yarn and I know I said one of my New Year's resolutions was not to buy so much yarn. To be fair, I had most of this yarn already, but I just need a little bit more because I did not have a sweater's quantity. Um, I am using True Boo by Lion Brand. And this is in the slate colorway. This is a size three. It is 241 yards and it is 100% rayon from Bamboo and it is amazing absolutely love it it's super soft but i had three of these and i needed like six to make the sweater so i bought a few more um and then i had to have a contrast color but i only needed one so i bought um true boo again of course in the color scarlet and it is this color although i will say it is not very scarlet it almost shows up like an orangey color in real life. I do like it. Um, and so this is going to be my contrast color in the sweater that I'm making, which I will show. Um, but I decided that I was, like I said, going to try to use some of my stash <laughs> for this project. I just need a little bit more of the main color and then I needed uh, a contrast color. So the main uh, color in the sweater will be that slate. And then I'm going to have this in the contrast for the yoke. And I think they look really great together and I'm really happy with it. So then I gotten some new yarn because my husband is ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> and he saw a pattern for the scrubbies in Hobby Lobby. You know, they have these little like pattern books or little random patterns that you can pull off the aisles. Um, and he wanted me to make some for him, so I'm going to make some. So he saw this, this pineapple, which is kind of blurry there, but it's on the inside. And that has the pattern for that. And then um, these like scrubbing, I don't even know what they're actually called. It just says scrubbing buddies. Um, for the kitchen and so I got yarn to make those I got the recommended yarn for the pineapple which is this um, I used scrubology scrub it in lemon and that is this color it's actually showing it pretty true to color uh, on the video but this is a size five and it is a hundred percent nylon and it's that, you know, that, um, just that scrubby feel. I don't know how to <laughs> really describe it. I've used it a couple of times to make him scrubbies for the kitchen already. Um, but I needed this color for the pineapple. And then the Scrubology cotton in, it's just, just this green, <laughs> um, to make the top. So that'll be fun. I'm going to make that. It should be pretty quick. <laughs> And then I also got Scrubology Scrub It in Aqua. So the same as the yellow, but in Aqua to make um, those little scrubbers right there. And so that'll be a fun little project. It'll be something that'll be quick and I'll be able to finish fairly, um, fairly quickly. It doesn't look like they're too in depth or that it will take a long time. Um, it doesn't have like a time frame on there, but I don't imagine it being very long. The scrubbies that I had made him before only took about 15 minutes. So there is that. And then also while I was in Hobby Lobby, I saw this yarn and it was really pretty. 
color idol i hope i'm saying that right i-d-y-l-l -L. i have no idea in the color power surge this is by yarn b and it is 50 percent merino wool 20 percent nylon and Am I reading that right? No, 30% nylon and 20% acrylic. Sorry, I do not film with my glasses because the lights that I use cause a glare. Um, so I can't see. <laughs> this is a size one yarn uh, and it is 415 yards, but I love that color. Fantastic. Oh, it's like blowing out. It's so bright. There we go. Uh, and I got two of those. I have no idea what I'm going to make with it. And again, I'm failing at not buying new yarn. I'm trying not to. Try not to buy a ton because like I said, I have a lot that I really want to make um, projects with. And I found another sweater pattern, but I'm going to have to stop myself because <laughs> um, it uses fingering weight yarn, but it's in three different colors and I have enough yarn for it. So whenever I decide to finally make it, I won't have to buy any yarn for it and I'll be super happy with that. Uh, but now I want to show you guys my work in progress. And this is super cute. I'm real excited about it. Um, this is the Marzana sweater and it's by Tinderbox. It is a pay pattern. But there, oh, there it is. I really like the yoke detail on that. Um, there is another picture. There we go. Try not to show. But isn't that so pretty? I love it. I love really detailed yokes like that. And then uh, this pattern was just released recently, uh, but I saw that she was doing a cowl for it, so a crochet along. And I decided I would take part. It just started last week. I'm going to post a link to the Facebook group if you want to join. It goes until the 20th of February. So you have a little over four weeks. Um, it is a DK weight sweater. And so it really doesn't take that long. It works up actually quite quickly. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I really enjoyed it. And you can kind of see what I've got going already. I don't have a stitch marker in here. Ha ha, of course. Um, I just started a couple of days ago and haven't had a whole lot of time to spend on it, but this is what I've got so far. Um, but you'll notice, oh, you can see the color work and that's the slate and the um, scarlet, these colors that I had showed earlier. So this is just a few rounds, but this has only taken me maybe an hour or so. Uh, and I'm super excited to really finish that yoke up. But I'm really happy with how it is going so far. And it's really soft fabric. I have noticed that um, the True Boo is much easier to work with than the Kobu, and that was something I was really worried about because y'all heard me talk about on the channel how I'm not a huge fan of the Kobu because it splits so bad, and it's actually kind of like prevented me from finishing that bag project that I'm working on, and I'm almost done, um, but it is a struggle, but I'm going to finish it because I'm really close to the end <laughs> but i haven't had any problems with splitting with this yarn it is super soft and the fabric that it's making i can already tell the sweater is going to be one of my favorites um, also some more acquisitions because i just like randomly stopped in the middle uh, i've become obsessed with yesenia and her etsy shop i showed some of the um crochet stitch markers that I'd gotten from her shop in the past and then she also uh, designed the comfy cozy throw which I crocheted it was in the gold um, but I saw these stitch markers on her Etsy and I had to get them because I thought they were beautiful um, and here they are if you can see so, very pretty, that iridescent. And then this moon, I love. 
I cannot get it to face the right way. I guess if I flip them over that way, maybe you can see it a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I thought these were really pretty and I had to have them. So I got them off her shop last week. I think they came in a few days ago. Um, but there is that. And then also a few weeks ago, I um, took part in Bingo by Fiber Hustle. I know they do that from time to time and Chip and Aaron are so much fun. I love their channel. If you haven't checked them out, go ahead and do it. I'll post a link to it down below in the description. But occasionally they will have these virtual bingo games on Zoom. And I, this is the second one I've done, but I won a prize and I was super excited about it. Um, I saw a lot of people talking about this actually on Instagram and it's the Two Sheeps 2021 calendar. It's a celebration of independent yarn dyers which I think is so cool because it shows a different skein for each month. And that's whenever um, the yarn will go on sale. And then it posts, it shows a link for how you can purchase that yarn of the month. Um, but it helps with learning about new yarn dyers because sometimes I kind of get in a rut of the people that I like to buy from, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. If you have your favorites, I think that's great. But I think it's always good to branch out and try new dyers because you never know. You might find a new brand that you really absolutely love. Um, this green is fabulous and it's for March. Can we talk about that? I think that's gonna be great for St. Patrick's Day. I'm trying to see if there's any in there, oh my gosh, I love that, um, that I recognize. And honestly, oh yes, here's Lola Bean. I've been trying so hard to get some Lola Bean yarn and every time I go to the shop, everything is like sold out help me if any of you have ever bought any before remind me whenever there's shop updates um but so far that's the only dyer that i see on here that i recognize um but some of these are just absolutely stunning and i will definitely be going to their shops and purchasing some but yeah i really love this calendar it's going to be a great addition to my craft room so thank you chip and erin um and then also um, my mother-in-law got me a subscription to Darn Good Yarn for Christmas, and I got my first box in, and that yarn is really pretty. Super bright and vibrant. Um, I think this is like the intro box. I think everyone gets the same first box whenever they come in. Um, and then it comes with... The pattern for it. It tells you a little bit about the yarn, which I think is really cool, and the people that make it. And then it gives you, like I said, a knit and a crochet pattern in this little booklet. But also, it gives you knitting needles and a crochet hook. Sorry. The light from my ring light is causing a glare on here because of the plastic, but I think that's pretty neat. And so I'm looking forward to using that. I don't know if I will use the yarn on the pattern. It was a cowl, but it looked very small. Not really my style, um, but I'm definitely gonna be using this yarn in something. If I can get this box to close. And so that's fun. And I think that comes once a month. I think it's once a month. But yes. So that's really what I've got going on right now. I hope you guys will take part in 
the crochet along for the Marzana sweater. I, like I said, I know it's only just started, but it just started in the past week. And it was the time for whenever people were swatching and just doing the first few rows before they got to the color work. Um, there's this lovely schedule on the Facebook group so that you can keep yourself on track. Um, and that helps me a lot because sometimes I get distracted by other things and it helps with having a schedule saying, hey, you should be here by this time. Um, so it can help. It can also cause you stress. So <laughs> I hope everyone is having a great start to 2021 and I look forward to speaking with you guys over the coming weeks up until the 20th of February whenever I have my three-year anniversary on YouTube. I'm gonna have a giveaway and I'm getting things ready for that so there's gonna be lots of fun prizes for people to win so be sure you're subscribed to the channel so that you can enter and I look forward to hearing in the comments from you guys um, about future scheduling, um, about your ideas about the yarn, if you're gonna take part in the cowl, uh, cow, I keep saying cowl, but it's not a cowl, it's a cow. <laughs> um, and I can't wait to see you next week for Free Pattern Friday. Don't forget to give me some tips and some ideas for free patterns that you might want to see. For those of you who don't know, I post every other Friday, Free Pattern Friday, where I find knitting and crochet patterns for you guys, some of the um, popular ones, new ones, um, different ones that people have suggested, and share it uh, in a special video on its own here on the channel. So be sure to subscribe so you get uh, notifications of that as well. But thank you so much for joining, and I will speak to you on the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>